whatever I have told you verbally, now let's see it. Uh, let's see it written on the screen. So about the charts, first chart in each of these figures give the non-dimensionalized center temperature T naught, that is at x is equal to zero for the slab of thickness two L. See, I have already mentioned you. Well, I was verbally, you know, going through the discussion. So it's slab of thickness two L, and at R is equal to zero for the cylinder and sphere at any given time tau. Temperature at any other position at the same time tau is calculated using the next graph, that is position correction chart. Yes, the uh, the curve uh, means the curves that I have already shown you, the the chart that I have already shown you, for calculating for calculating temperature away from the center is actually known as position correction chart. Okay, so in your exams you will have your heat transfer data books. So heat transfer data books will actually have all these charts. Okay, so you need not worry about it. And if you get these kind of numericals, so just first of all, uh, you know, uh, just uh, just uh, you know, flip the pages of your uh, HMT data book, and you will come to see these Heisler's and Grober charts. We commonly call it as Heisler's chart. Okay, and the third chart gives you Q by Q max. Okay, how to use these charts? I've already told you. I've already explained you. You know, so many times, number of times on each and every chart I have uh, explained you, but that was all verbal. So it's better to see it written. Okay, so how to use these charts? Procedure of using these charts to solve a numerical problem is as follows. First of all, calculate the Biot's number. Yes, the checking criteria will be Biot's number. Okay, for Lund parameter analysis, you know it was Biot's number lesser than 0 0.1. Okay, so for Lund parameter analysis, it was Biot's number lesser than 0 0.1 okay so first of all calculate the biot's number and as i have already shown you in the first slide that these charts to be implemented only when biot's number is greater than 0.1 okay so first of all calculate biot's number from the data with the usual definition of biot's number that is biot's number is equals to hlc by k where lc is the characteristic dimension given as lc is equals to volume upon area okay that is LC is equals to L, half thickness of a plane wall. LC is equals to R by 2 for a cylinder. You, you need to calculate V by A for a cylinder and you also need to calculate V by A for the sphere. So R by 3 will come up automatically and R by 2 for the cylinder will come up automatically. Okay, so see it's written there. If Biot's number is lesser than 0.1, use lump system analysis. Otherwise, go for one term approximation or chart solution. The one term approximation is not in your syllabus. Okay, one term approximation uh, we can do it, but uh, since uh, you know it's not there in your course content, so I will not be touching this one term approximation. So chart system is there in your course content, so therefore here is the video for the chart system. So if Biot's number is lesser than 0.1, use lump system analysis. Otherwise, go for the chart solution. Okay. So how to use these charts? If Biot's number is greater than 0.1, I have already explained you, but this is something you know you can just see and understand once again a biot's number is greater than 0.1 calculate the biot number again with the appropriate definition of biot's number that is biot's number is hl by k for a plane wall where l is half thickness and biot's number is hr by k for a cylinder or sphere as i've already uh, as i've already told you in my previous slides in this video that for uh, for cylinder or sphere you need to replace the linear length by radius okay so where r is the outer radius also calculate fourier's number that is alpha tau by l square where tau is the time okay for plane wall and alpha and uh, fo in mean, fourier's number for the cylinder and sphere just l will be replaced by r okay so it is alpha tau by r square okay to calculate the center temperature the first set of chart is given depending upon the geometry being considered so be it slab be it cylinder or be it sphere you need to use the appropriate chart okay f F0, that is the Fourier's number, is on the x axis. Draw a vertical line to intersect the 1 by Biot's line. Okay, as I've already told you, as already drawn, I've already shown by drawing it on the curve. From the point of intersection, move the horizontally move horizontally to the left to the y axis. I, I've shown you this as well to read the value of theta naught, that is the temperature distribution. Here, T naught is the center temperature. Okay, I have mentioned it as Ti, which can now be calculated as Tic uh, since Ti and Ta are known. To calculate the temperature at any other position, use second figure of the set as appropriate. Second figure means the second chart means any other position except the center. Okay. Enter the chart 
with 1 by pi r's number on the x axis move vertically up to intersect the x by l or r by r curve and from the point of intersection move to the left and read on the axis of the temperature distribution here t is the desired temperature at the indicated position this is what i have shown you okay to find out now this is a uh, important one as i have already told you i will tell you how to calculate this to find out the amount of heat transferred q during a particular time interval tau from the beginning that is tau is equals to 0 use the third figure of the set third figure means the first figure was for every set the first figure the first chart was for the center line temperature the second chart was for the position correction means any any position away from the center and the third one is for the heat transfer so to find out the amount of heat transferred q during a particular time interval tau from the beginning use the third figure of the set set means the geometry okay enter the x axis with the value of biot number squared into fourier number and move vertically up to intersect the curve representing the appropriate biot's number and move to the left to read on the y axis the value of q by q max okay q is then easily found out since q max is mcp ti minus ta so it is pretty common right so q max is mass flow rate into specific heat into initial temperature minus ambient temperature so that's the q max and once you calculate the q max you can easily calculate the q at that desired time tau okay now let's take an example of this uh, a numerical example a steel plate whose alpha alpha means the thermal diffusivity meter square per second is the unit a steel plate alpha 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 5 meter square per seconds comma k is 43 watts per meter celsius okay of thickness 2l that is 10 cm so l will be 5 cm initially at a uniform temperature of 250 degrees celsius is suddenly immersed in an oil bath okay is suddenly uh, suddenly immersed in an oil bath whose fluid temperature is 45 degrees celsius ta is 45 degrees celsius full stop convection heat transfer coefficient that is h is given it is 700 watts per meter square degree celsius how long will it take for the center plane for the center plane to cool 200 degree celsius see first of all in this numerical you can find out what he has asked he has asked for the center plane so center plane uh, it should immediately strike to your mind that you need to use the charts okay but again you cannot be very much confirmed so the first deciding criteria is to check out the biot's number okay this is all given l is equal to 0.05 alpha is this k is this the initial temperature 250 degrees celsius ta is 45 degrees celsius h is 700 watts per meter square degree celsius and the temperature you need to means the time the temperature uh, to be targeted as 100 degrees celsius and for that you need to take out time okay so first check if lump system analysis is applicable or not so again you need to calculate the biot's number and since it's a steel plate so it will be hl by k had it been cylinder or sphere it would have like hr by k okay so the biot's number is hl by k okay so see the biot's number is coming out to be the biot's number is coming out to be 0.8 and this 0.8 is definitely greater than 0.1 the biot's number is greater than 0.1 see it is noted that the biot's number is greater than 0.1 so lump system analysis is not applicable okay we will adopt heisler's chart solution and then check the results from one term approximate forget about one term approximate solution so we will take the results from heisler's chart only to find the time required for the center to reach 100 degree celsius for using the charts biot's number is hl by k which is already calculated okay so fourier's number you have everything given alpha tau by l square uh, what we need to find out we need to find out tau okay we need to find out tau so this is something else okay i will tell you okay to to minus ta by ti minus ta now first of all you just see to is given to is given ti is given ta is given okay now this is something else means what i have shown you is to calculate to but here to is given and you need to calculate time and time will be calculated by fourier's number so fourier's number has to be taken out from the x axis and then after taking out the fourier's number you have implement this formula and calculate the value of time it's see it's 
the other way around. Okay, so first of all, since you have calculated the Biot's number, reciprocal it, one by Biot's number. Okay, here is the chart, and uh, I have already plotted it for you. Okay, so one uh, this the see first of all one by Biot's number, one by Biot's number was here. Okay, one by Biot's number was here, and this temperature distribution, each and every value is given to you. Okay, TA, TI, and whatever you want, it's given to you. It was here. Draw a horizontal line, touching that curve, hitting that curve. Now draw a vertical line. Okay, this is just the opposite thing we are doing. You get this value of Fourier's number. Once you get the value of Fourier's number, see, so we get Fourier's number as 2.4. Okay, so tau is equals to now you need to calculate tau. You need to deduce tau from Fourier's number. So tau is equals to F O by L square by alpha. Okay, so you got tau is equals to 500. So time required for the center to reach 100 degrees Celsius is 500 seconds. Okay, so surface temperature. So at the surface now suppose if you have to go for uh, surface temperature at the surface x by L. So suppose if you have to go for surface temperature. Okay, surface temperature is basically away from the center. So away from the center, it is x by L. Okay, so x by L for surface, x is equals to L. So x by L is equals to one. Okay, so it's written there at the surface, x by L is equals to one. On the x-axis, with the value of one by Biot's number is equals to one point two two nine that you have already calculated. Move up to intersect the curve of x by L. See move up to intersect the curve of x by l and then you can go to vertical then move to the left to read on y axis so you get the value 0 0.07 whatever whatever you will get okay and from there you can calculate okay now you have got the temperature on the surface is 